Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. 55 fintech and crypto experts were selected by Finder.com to share their predictions on the crypto asset Ripple. Finders experts predict that XRP could rise to $3.81 per unit by 2025. Now, how many of you honestly agree with that? I think the price is going to be much, much higher by then. That's my opinion. Because I take a look around the world and I say to myself, wow, things are moving very fast. We're watching other countries move ahead with innovation at a very fast pace. Here in the U.S., I still believe we may be holding back innovation. But the thing is, we also have a broken financial system, and we're going to have to bring in a new one, much sooner than people think. Inside of that new financial system is XRP. And we know the price has to be much, much higher to move all of that money. Now, most likely, these crypto experts went off previous market cycles and market cap. I no longer look at that because I believe we're headed into a utility run at some point. A lot of other people can see it coming also. So we'll have to wait and see, but I definitely know XRP is going to be much higher than $3.81 before 2025. So introducing the Belmain thread, our vision for driving fashion into the Web3 future, imagined in collaboration with Mint NFT official and Ripple, built on the XRP ledger. Now the ledger continues to expand and grow very fast, but a lot of these announcements go unnoticed because most people are looking at the SEC lawsuit, ISO, but in the background, something bigger is taking place. That XRP ledger is growing at an alarming rate. XLS20 may come to XRP Ledger soon enough as its fix is in the final stage. And it will continue to grow and expand even in years to come, all adding value to XRP. XRP Partnership Announcement with Indian Bank, Federal Bank. And again, this is another BRICS country. So we're starting to see all the BRICS countries starting to talk about XRP. I'm going to do another video where I talk about another country utilizing XRP. And we know Brazil already has brought XRP in. The only two that have not mentioned anything yet is Russia and China. But I do believe they're also working with Ripple. Or is talking about the stablecoin and their potential. What do we have here? The IMF identifies XRP as a stablecoin, and Biden's executive order is for stablecoin regulations, you say. Coincidence? Now, here's the thing. I believe that the U.S. is moving forward with innovation behind the scenes. I think we're getting ready for our own CBDC, because there's no way we're going to stay behind the rest of the world. Look around. The world is moving very, very fast. If the U.S. wants to compete, we have to keep up with the rest of the world. Canada's real-time payment system launch delayed. The system will also tap the ISO 222 messaging standard to support payment information traveling with every payment. So it's delayed right now. But now it shows that Canada is also working on their own CBDC. It's all coming together. Ripple moves 50 million XRP, while whales shuffle 350 million coins as XRP price recovers. And that's the thing, we've seen a lot of whale movement with XRP. What do they know that we don't know? Maybe they know a settlement is coming very soon. Maybe it's something bigger than that. But when they're moving XRP like this, they know something. U.S. to implement new regulations for banks supporting crypto. Now, here's the thing. If the banks want to stay relevant, they're going to have to get involved with crypto. More and more people are getting interested in crypto. People are not using the banks. They're investing in crypto instead. Most people 
that are in crypto now at some point had a savings account in their local bank. They most likely withdrew their entire savings account and invested in crypto because they want those big gains. They want to get rich in the future. That's what crypto can give you if you're patient enough to sit back and wait. Here's a scenario. Whales transfer utility tokens to different exchanges, manipulate the price with losses. People get scared and sell their utility tokens while whales buy back at lower or sometimes even higher prices. You are shaked out. Don't get fooled old. And that's the thing. Right now is the best time to do nothing. Because if you get impatient and you sit there and stare at the chart all day on XRP, you will feel like you can trick the market, maybe get some more XRP and end up selling some of your XRP trying to buy back at lower prices. But then what happens? The price continues upward. Then you end up buying back in, losing some of your XRP. Be patient, especially now. Big things can happen very fast. Think about it, XRP can literally move on any type of news right now. Anything, it could be settlement talk, it could be flare going live, it could be some kind of ISO news, some other country opens up on-demand liquidity, who knows, but the price can move very fast. Do nothing, be patient, that's the way you win in crypto. Ripple's secret sauce is, and always will be, XRP. With XRP, they have instant settlement. Liquidity is concentrated if you only need to make one market against XRP for every currency. XRP is jurisdictionless, thus no need to adhere to as many laws. In other jurisdictions, look at the geopolitical tension surrounding the use of USD in global trade. The Fed can freeze USD and any other central bank at any time. Since Ripple is holding a huge amount of total XRP supply, they can incentivize usage of ODL. And look at how fast countries pull away from USD. China gives them incentives to deal in the yuan. So what do they do? They deal in the yuan to get those incentives. Same thing can happen with Ripple and on-demand liquidity. By covering the difference in an on-demand liquidity transfer with XRP, thus making liquid corridors cheaper than today. So if a mega bank uses tokenized fiat, banks will still need to keep a range of currencies in Nostro Vostro. Liquidity will become fractionalized. It most definitely won't be jurisdictionless. Imagine sanction of power of a CBDC. They won't have a huge war chest of crypto where they can incentivize usage by covering the difference in the transactions. So I definitely see a place for XRP in the world. They're not going to be able to manipulate other countries like they do now. They can't weaponize XRP against other countries either. That's what's going to make XRP so much better than the system we have now. Right now, most of these countries feel like the U.S. is a bully. That's why they're breaking away from the U.S. When XRP comes in and we go fully digital, level playing field, that all ends. Most likely, that's why BRICS is pushing forward with XRP. Gary trying to save face. SEC Chair Gensler says CFTC should get more power to oversee stablecoins. Why would he do that? He's like pushing the power into a different direction. I think maybe he's looking to get away from this Ripple case. Maybe he's done with it. Maybe he has given up. Who knows what his intentions are. But the thing is, this would give him a free pass. He could just say, well, it's not my problem anymore, it's yours. But I think what's going to happen is, at some point, we're going to get that settlement news and XRP is truly going to take off. That $3.81 we just talked about at the beginning of this video is going to look like peanuts compared to where we're going, in my opinion. And that's the thing. Just sit back, be patient, wait, because our time is truly coming. The next video I do, I'm going to talk more about the bricks. 
because another country just made a huge, huge announcement. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.